Hello everyone, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. Today we're going to be working on our summer standing post set. This is our standing post. It has our Father's Day in it. So I kind of want to show you how to, how to do this one. So first we're going to start with our red because I want to put some texture on this. So I am going to be... Um, I'm going to use Mod Podge and attach burlap to this. So we want this to dry before we put the Mod Podge on. But I'm not particularly liking that red. I like it, but it's not going on smooth enough, so we're going to use some paint and speed it up a little. Because I know you all you find your time precious, and I don't want to keep everybody longer than I have to. This is a nice summer set. There are three slices of watermelon that go with this set. I go off the side so I don't get any paint on the side. If you wanted, you could paint the sides, but I prefer a, a look that I get when I paint it like that. I like the burned look on the side. It has like a farmhouse look to it. The other item I'm going to paint red is the word sweet. Now this would be better with a paint marker than a paint brush, but since I'm using this red, I want all my red to be alike. <clears throat> This would have been better to put on the tape to hold it in place. Okay, so put that aside. This, I'm going to paint white. Um, let's see. Nope, I want to use my paint. Again, better coverage when I use the paint for white. Get a much cleaner look. Okay. 
looking for another flat paintbrush. This one will work pretty good, I think. And I'm going to pour some of this in there more than I needed. Try to go in the same direction. Now, if you do get paint on the side, I would suggest just using a diaper wipe. Or the top. It happens to all of us. Now, because I went in several different directions here, I'm going to go back and clean it up and go in one direction. It just gives you a nicer coat on the front. Just trying to stay away from the sides. Okay. Golden. I should put that over there. All right. Now, my next color is going to be the green. And I think I'm going to go ahead and paint this green and then do this in two colors. would go a lot easier if I had this color in a paint marker but I like this spring green it's a great watermelon color
I got a little over on here, but that's okay because my next color is going to be darker. So it's easy to go from light to dark. So I can just fix my boo boos with the darker. Now I marked ahead of time where I'm putting my stripe so I wouldn't mess up. So everywhere you see the spring green is going to be a lighter stripe. Let your paintbrush do the work for you. too much on. at all. Thank you.
fine tip, so that's not going to work real good. So you can see how quick the markers go and you have a better, it's easier to paint them. Go ahead and do these two. This is a fine tip. If your fine tip starts to splatter, you just turn it over to the other side. Because they have a habit of doing that sometimes when you're doing a longer space. So just know you can turn it over to stop the splattering. or just back off on your pressure on the tip.
painting Mod Podge on here now. I already cut out some pieces of red um, burlap. Kind of just gives the watermelon some texture. Just putting a nice thin coat of this on there. Just kind of push it in. You don't have to coat the top. Let's see if we can trim this a little bit. Finish this. Nope, we're going to paint it. That's not shook up enough. And I really do prefer the darker. This one is called Christmas Green.
don't know about any of you, but I find painting very relaxing at times. As you can see, I'm kind of working from the middle out, so that way I don't get a whole a lot of paint on my hands or on the piece. Go. Now for these two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the antique wax. Now this set does come with some seeds. I'm not going to put those on right now because I've lost some of them. So there are going to be seeds for each and every one of those pieces of watermelon. All right. So this goes here. It says life is... Sweet. Now, because I want this to fit in the rectangle, I'm going to adjust the pieces because you don't want any wood hanging off because this piece fits right in here. So you can't have any pieces hanging over.
go. Now, two of our little critters here are going to get glued onto that because that fits right in the front here where the little hat is. I'm going to do a little highlighting on this with the fine tip white. And we're going to give them two little eyes. go. Now we're going to go ahead and do some highlighting on this too. And I think with the letters this will really make them pop. And I am going to do this one over again with my red. And when that's dry, I will also add some highlighting to the word sweet. And glue all our little black pieces on here. I'm going to save this for later. So we're just going to put a dot in each one. I'm using CA Thick. This is what I use for all my projects. All right. So, I think I think I'd like to put some little do it in brown. I'm going to put some little stripes on here. So I feel more confident doing that with a with a roller.
you. Now you want to place your watermelon first because these are going to go on next and you want to make sure that you have it where you want it. Try and find the middle. And then we'll put one of these up here. Okay. And then one of these down here. Here. You have a little bit of time to adjust it, but not a whole lot. It's going to go there. This is going to go here. This is going to go there. kind of make these pop a little bit. There we go. Now with each one of the standing post always sells separately and when you get that you also get a set of binder rings which is what you use to hang your piece up. I'm probably going to go back and really um, paint that over again because I like it to look really solid. One of the things I've done with these sets is I've added resin to them and you can go back through all of my videos and find one that we used resin with. Let me take the hat out. Now because I can see this on the back from here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the antique wax on the back of that and the back of this one. And this just has holes in the back that you pop it out. There we go. And then this just goes there. And there you go. We have our summer set finished. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.